Hi everyone, my name is Dennis Dubo and I manage the AWS Partner Solution Architects at Databricks. So let's dive right in this brief Delta Lake demo with AWS Glue Data Catalog. First, a little bit about Databricks. We're a cloud-native unified data analytics platform. It's built on AWS, which enables you to accelerate innovation across all personas of your organization. We're a global company with thousands of customers and hundreds of partners. Now, Spark is the most popular and adopted open source project in the industry for large-scale data processing and data science workload uh, and a top-level Apache Software Foundation projects. Project. Yet at Databricks, we recognize that it takes more than a great processing engine to build a modern analytics platform. And we continue to innovate and contribute to a variety of open source projects. And one of them is Delta Lake, which we'll cover today. Delta has been deployed at thousands of organizations and processes exabytes of data each month. MLflow is another one that's uh, one of the fastest growing open source projects. It's our end-to-end -end, uh, uh, ML uh, governance and uh, lifecycle management platform. So check it out. We have some more content at the booth. And finally, we recently welcomed the open source Swedish project to the Databricks family. Redash has more than 7,000 deployments globally and offers an easy to use dashboarding and visualization solution focused on SQL analyst. Now, um, you know, in order to understand where Databricks fits in the AWS uh, ecosystem, uh, I'd like to, you know, kind of just review quickly this diagram and, and, and share a few takeaways here. So the Databricks runtime has been uh, optimized to integrate with many or most of the AWS first uh, party data services, whether it's Kinesis, serving to Redshift, integrating with Glue, or serving to SageMaker as well as connecting to Athena. The data remains in, in and under the control of the customer and all the compute resource or provision the customer's VPC uh, while leveraging all the AWS security controls and mechanisms. And many are depicted in the lower part of the diagram, whether it's access identity management or SSO. Feel free to stop by the booth. We'd be more than happy to uh, you know, review this, uh, this, this architectural content with you. Now, S3 is a highly available, durable, and cost-effective object store, which allows you to store a large variety of data uh, in a centralized data lake. And most of our, cus our customers and enterprise have spent significant amount of time and efforts um, building these data, these data lake. Having said that though, manipulating and modifying data uh, using object storage presents many challenges today. Uh, think of CCPA, GDPR, for instance, where you'll need to update and delete a significant amount of data uh, and, and, that, and that's very difficult. So Delta brings the best of breed allowing you to manage data warehouses and data lake access patterns uh, based on an open file format, providing reliability, quality, performance to your data lake. And uh, Delta, uh, the Delta Lake is a project that's hosted by the Linux Foundation, and you can also find more at delta.io. Uh, so having said that, let me just uh, jump into a quick demo. So I have a, a uh, notebook here, it's a Python notebook, but I will use SQL notation throughout this, uh, this demo. So uh, let me just quickly here show you some of the very simple syntax. So I have this database here. And if I go to my data tab, you'll see that I have this database and a few tables. These are all databases within the Glue Metastore. And uh, right here, this is the Glue UI. And again, same database right here with these tables. Okay. So I'm doing all the operations using Glue and uh, easy enough, very easy to create a Delta table using the syntax of format Delta as, as, as depicted right here. So you can see the syntax. Now uh, we offer asset capability. Uh, you know, uh, Delta has a numbers of features like schema evolution, time travel, uh, being able to uh, manage multiple clients at the same times uh, and then uh, full DML support. So uh, let's go through a couple of uh, syntax here. So uh, describe extended table, something very familiar. Delete statements, super simple. Follow a standard uh, SQL delete syntax. No, no uh, necessary of adding any complexity to this. Uh, same thing for your updates and we support merge. Uh, statements as well, which is very unique in terms of um, simplicity as well. So you want to find out more, please uh, visit our Delta Lake page and uh, as well as Delta Lake.io. And uh, we also have SQL analytics uh, capability that we've just recently launched, uh, just uh, really focusing on the uh, SQL analyst. And um, having said that, just stop by the, the booth and we'll spend some more time and uh, more depth around 
uh, some of the you know Databricks features that we have.